Now that you have Atom installed and you know about file management, let's begin working in Atom on a project. It is possible to just open Atom and start creating files and just working, but what I highly recommend is that you open your project folder in Atom. If you take time to set up your project folder before you start working, it'll be so much easier when you start to create links and add images and things like that because Adam is going to know where you're working from. So that is always the first thing that I do. Now you can see out here on my desktop, I have a folder called Web Projects. This is going to be where I'm going to keep all of my projects for this particular course. If I open up this folder, you can see that as of yet, nothing exists inside of this folder. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to create the project that I'm going to begin working on. So I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this folder Lesson 04, since this is the fourth section of our course. Inside of this folder, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna create any of the necessary items that I'm going to be working on. So because I might have a couple of different projects that I'll be working on, I'm going to create a folder and I'm gonna call this one 04-04 since this is the fourth series for this particular lesson. You can name these folders whatever you want. This could basically be your client folder, if you will. So I'm going to be working from this folder for this particular example. Inside of this folder, I will create my root folder. And then inside of the root folder, I'm going to make some subfolders that I will need. So I will make an images folder I will make a pages folder and I will make a CSS folder. Eventually we might have a JavaScript folder, but for now we're just going to be focusing on working on HTML. So I'm just going to make the basic folder that I will need. Now that I have this folder all set up, I'm ready to start working in Atom. So I find the easiest thing to do is to simply grab the folder, my root folder, and drag it into the project pane of Atom. It is possible to use this add folder button inside of Atom, and you will be able to navigate to any particular file. I find it easier to just simply open the folder, grab the file and drag it into the project pane. Now that I have this in the project pane, you can see that my root folder is the open folder. Now, currently I do not have any files. I just have the folders. So you probably remember the file that we're always gonna need when we're working on a web project is gonna be that index page. That's what we're gonna start with. It is going to be at root level. So from Adam, I'm gonna go to file, new file, or you could use the keyboard shortcut of command or control N, and it makes an untitled document. Now, the very first thing that you wanna do before you start actually writing any code is you wanna save the file. And the reason is, is because once you've saved the file and Adam knows what type of file we're working on, it will provide some code hinting and it will help us to be more streamlined in coding. If I, for instance, just start to make a paragraph tag, it works. I can make my opening and closing paragraph tag and I can begin coding, but watch what happens when we save this file. So here's the untitled file. I'm gonna to go to the file and I'm gonna say save, or we could use the keyboard shortcut of command or control S. And Adam automatically knows that I'm working from my root folder. So it automatically assumes that this file is going to be placed in the root folder. And that is one of the advantages of opening the root folder as a project inside of Adam. So I'm simply gonna name this file index.html. Don't forget, we always need our extension. I'll click save. And now you can see that the file icon has changed to an HTML file. It recognizes it as HTML. If I make my opening angle bracket, you can see I get a little tooltip, and this is gonna list a bunch of different tags. So you could select any of these tags, or I can continue to type. And if I type P, here's my paragraph tag, I can go ahead and I can just click on the paragraph and it will complete the tag. Now, in this case, it gave me an extra opening angle bracket. So you'll wanna be aware of that and you'll wanna get rid of that in case that happens. 
you don't have to have it complete the tags. You can just write the tags, but it will definitely offer some assistance. The other thing that happens is the tags are going to be color coded. So this is going to make it easier for you to see the actual elements, the attributes, the values, all that good stuff. Let me just show you another great feature. We saw what happened when we used the tooltip and it added that extra angle bracket. But if you know what the element is, for instance, a P tag, I can just type P and hit the tab key and that will actually populate the opening and closing tags of the paragraph element and then my blinking insertion point is in the middle and I can just type. So this is a huge time saver and it'll prevent you from having to actually even type the closing portion of the tag. So this is something that a code editor offers that you would not get if you were simply using a text editor that you simply would not get if you were using a text editor, which is possible. You could code an entire web page using a text editor, but this is obviously much more convenient. This is all you really need to do to get up and running. I'm going to delete that because when we are building a page from scratch on our computer, we actually need some more elements before we can actually start making paragraphs and headings and all the other stuff that we have learned thus far. I just wanted to show you how you could get your project up and running and the importance of adding the extensions to the files and just making sure that your root folder is set up. Now that we have this done, we can start coding and we'll do that next.